Hello and welcome to our Hexagon YouTube series featuring great tips and information on using Caesar 2 software for your pipe stress analysis. If you're performing analyses in Caesar 2, there's no doubt that you've worked with load cases before. Setting up load conditions for your analysis is a critical part of working with Caesar 2 software. Now, the static load case editor has gone through some major improvements since its redesign, which first appeared in Caesar 2 2016, version 8.0. This video will showcase some of the best features of the new editor, which will save you valuable time when working with load cases in Caesar 2. Once you set up your model and piping input, you can quickly access the static load case editor from the icon in the toolbar. Once in the editor, you'll immediately notice a number of things. First, your load cases are listed very clearly with a load case definition, showing the primitives for each load case, but then followed by a customizable load case name, where you can give a nice description that makes sense in your business model. The window is scrollable and columns are easily resizable. You'll likely recognize the loads defined in input panel from previous versions, but one nice feature is that you can hide this panel should you want to use more screen real estate to see all of your load cases with their options. Click the push pin again to redock the panel back in place. Another nice feature for viewing is the non-scrolling region. This allows you to always see your load cases while you look at all the available options down the line. Sometimes you have a huge number of load cases and you'd like a quick way to view only certain ones. You definitely want to try out the new group and filter capabilities in the static load case editor. To view by a particular column, simply drag the column heading to the grouped by bar immediately above your list of load cases. As soon as you release the heading, the software will then group all of your load cases by that column heading. Notice here we've grouped by the stress type and the display shows all the load cases now grouped by type. Now this isn't confined to grouping by one column. Let's say I wanted to first group by stress type and then I also wanted to group by the output type. I would now drag the output type column heading into my group by bar in the, and the software immediately first sorts by stress type and then sorts by output type. Use this capability to build some intelligent groupings that let you work with load cases quickly and easily. You can always click Clear Filters and Groups at the top to remove your groupings and go back to the full load case list. For each column, you can also set up some advanced filtering capabilities. Click on the filter symbol on the column heading and you'll see a dialog appears that lets you select options. Here, I will filter by selecting certain load case definitions, and notice how these are the only cases you now see in the window. Or let's say I wanted to look at all cases, and I wanted to show only the cases with the designation of WIN in them for wind. You can clear the filter from within that filter pane, or use the, the same button above that I showed previously. Do you ever find you need to make one small change to a large number of load cases? Clicking down the list and making that change is faster with a new grid, but there's an even quicker way to do this using the new Group Edit view. Think of Group Edit as your bulk editor for load cases. From this view, you can see a list of all load cases by number and definition. Then to the right, you will see all the various load case options available. Notice how when I select and then click control click to select multiple load cases, certain options gray out while others are active. The active settings indicate that these load cases have the same shared settings currently and can be changed. Now I can still change all the fields by selecting the field and choosing a new option here as well. But it's important to note that when the fields gray out when you're in the load case editor group edit view, it means that those have different settings currently. Here I'm going to make the output status suppressed on the selected load cases, which means I don't want to see the results of this load case in our output. Perhaps these are wind cases that are used for later combination cases, and I don't need to see the results of these cases. I've also changed the friction multiplier for the selected cases L3, L15, L16, and L17. 
Now I can choose Analyze to, to analyze the model now, or choose Save and return to the Load Case Editor list view. For the purposes of this demo, I'll click Save and then click List to return to the list view. Notice how in the list view the same four load cases are still selected so that I can see what I was working with. And if I scroll through those cases, you will see that the output status is set to suppress on all four and the friction multiplier value has changed as well. Through these powerful time-saving tools, you can now edit load cases very quickly and easily and move on to more important stress analysis tasks. Be sure to check back soon for more YouTube tips and tricks for working with Caesar 2, the world's leading pipe stress analysis software. Mm -hmm.